Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Monday, 17th of December, 9th day of Teves. When you hear that uh, date, the 9th of Teves, you may not realize that we're actually in a segment of three sad days here. Sunday was the 8th of Teves, Monday the 9th, and Tuesday the 10th. Three sad things happened. I'm going to quickly articulate to you the two that happened on Sunday and Monday on the 8th and the 9th, and of course, you probably know that Tuesday will be marked for the third one, the big one, and that'll be the fast of the 10th of Teves this Tuesday. Here's what happened many, many years ago on uh, on the 8th of Teves. Uh, there was a king, a Greek king called Talmai, and he wanted the Torah translated into Greek, but he didn't want the rabbis uh, changing any words on him, and he wanted to get an exact translation, so he apprehended 70 rabbis, put them in 70 different rooms and didn't let them communicate with each other at all and asked them to translate the Torah into Greek. Now these rabbis were amazing and uh, they carefully, carefully, carefully translated the Torah into Greek and here and there they came upon certain words where they knew, uh-oh, if I translate it literally, some bad things will happen. I'll tell you some fun ones. Like in the first three words, they noticed all of them separately in their rooms where they couldn't communicate with each other they all noticed that if they translated Bereshis bara Elohim, the first three words, if they translated them literally, it would be a problem because literally it translates as Bereshis in the beginning created God. And these Greeks who believed in many gods would say, see, there was a God called in the beginning who created Elohim. So they had to switch the words around a little and they said God created in the beginning. Um, the thing is that, that probably by miracle, all 70 rabbis made the exact same change. Uh, then when they got to words like, God said to the angels around him, let's make man, in plural, let us make man uh, in our image. And so they realized, uh-oh, if we translate it like that, and it says, let us make man, in plural, then the Greek Talmai is going to think that... Uh, that there's many gods up there. So they all made a switch, and they didn't write it exactly. They, they said, uh, I will make man. And, and they all made the same exact change, which is miraculous, exact same change. My last fun one, I'll tell you, can't tell you too many, but uh, when they got to the list of the non-kosher animals, they were listing them. Arnevis is one of the non-kosher animals, and they were afraid to write down the word Arnevis because they all, all of them, all 70, stumbled upon the thought that uh, Arnevis was the name of Talmai's wife. And he would be insulted if her name was the name of the, uh, the unkosher animal, something like a rabbit. So all of them made a change, and they all made the exact same change without communicating with each other, which is like a miracle. And they called it the fast hare or something like that instead of calling it the rabbit, the Arnevis. Um, so anyway, when they were all finished, all of, they had made many changes, and all the changes were identical. He quickly had his scholars compare all the translations and saw that they were perfectly identical. And uh, if I were writing all the things of our Torah, I would have called that a miracle day, because it was amazing. Seventy translations with alterations all came out exactly the same. But the rabbis considered it a sad day because uh, on that day, although an amazing thing happened, and it was completed on this day, on the 8th of Teves, that Sunday when I'm recording this. Uh, when that happened, now it was available to the Greeks in their Greek language, and they were no longer so impressed with the Torah because they poured over it and said, eh, cute story, I don't like it. Uh, I think Yosef was being too this, or I think uh, Yaakov was being too that. And, and so it, it actually degraded Torah, even though great miracles happened in the translation. And so the rabbis marked it forever as a sad day. That's Sunday, the 8th of Teves. Uh, I'm rushing here. Monday, the 9th of Teves, was the day that Ezra HaSofer passed away. Uh, he was an amazing person in our history. He was uh, integral to the continuance of the chain of Torah. People of his generation could have lost the chain without him of all the great Torah knowledge. And he was a great teacher who taught it to many people. And he passed away on the 9th of Teves, exactly a thousand years. Um, after the Torah had been given. So that's, uh, that's the, the reason that the 8th and the 9th of Tevis are marked as sad. You won't have to fast on those days, but then we will be marking Tuesday as the 10th of Tevis, and I'll probably be explaining that in my next halacha, 
So there'll be a fast on uh, Tuesday morning through Tuesday nightfall for the 10th of Thales. We'll tell you that tomorrow. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more important.